Harry. Dennett, 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 Dennett. <laughs> I like that. It's going to be my new theme song. (laughs) Harry, happy Adore You Day. Thank you very much. How are you today? I'm doing splendid, man. Uh, We're playing this song every hour in celebration. We absolutely love it. So congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate you playing it. Oh, my kind. Of course. You know, I feel like these phone interviews can sometimes be a little awkward. You know, we can't see each other, but I'm in... (laughs) I'm in I'm in Center City, Philadelphia. Uh, where where are you in the world? What are you doing? What are you wearing on release day? Are you scouring the internet looking at fan reaction? Are you uh, in a bathtub eating strawberries? What are you doing? I'm in my car. Okay. I'm parked up. It's raining. I'm in London, and I'm wearing uh, bicycle shorts and fishnet stockings. Oh yeah, bring it, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Well, let's let's talk about uh, this big song, "Adore You." Uh, like I said, we absolutely love it. I love the I love the soulful feel to it. Um, I, I love the Thank message you. of it. I mean, what what we would do for for love and for romance. I mean, Bruno's taking grenades. Yeah. You're walking through fire. Uh, tell me about the inspiration. Yeah. How did this come about? Uh, I think it's about that, like that you know initial uh, like infatuation stage where you you know you, you kind of. You know, it's like that heavy feeling of like, it's just bliss, I guess. It's like a blissful, um, very joyous connection with someone, you know? I definitely know that, for sure. And so you wrap that feeling up in this in this awesome song. How long did this take to, uh, to come about for you? Uh, we wrote this in a day. Um, and, uh, yeah, we, we just had so much fun making it. So it's uh, they're usually the ones that end up kind of working the best of the ones where, you know, everyone's having fun making it. It doesn't feel like, oh, God, we have to write this song. <laughs> they kind of just like write themselves. And uh, yeah, and they're just fun and everyone's having a good time. So it was definitely a good experience making this song. Very excited to have it out. And uh, I'm excited that people are hopefully liking it. And this is just the the start. I mean, this is the beginning. Uh, your album, Fine Line, comes out in a few days. And I'm curious, what is the, the thought process, you know, going on with you? I mean, you have this album that you've been working on for over a year, all your uh, yeah. life experiences, your heartache, your, your uh, just you growing. Uh, and you, you put it on paper mm-hmm. and you record it. That sense of vulnerability. Are you are you excited? Are you nervous for millions of people to sink their teeth into it? What's, what's going on through your head? Um, I think it's, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to put it out. I think it's, it's always a little bit of a mixed feeling because you're, you're giving something away, I guess, that's been yours for so long. Um, but at the same time, it's like that's, you know, that I feel incredibly lucky to get to do that as, as, as a job. So this is the exciting part where it's finished uh, and you get to start letting people hear it. So I'm, I'm excited to put it out now. You know, I thought of you uh, a few weeks ago. I went to go see Fleetwood Mac. I know uh, Fleetwood Mac is one of your favorites, uh, and they and they, uh-huh. they they crush it as always. And I'm curious, uh, what's like the best advice Stevie Nicks has has ever given you? I mean, a legend. Um, best advice is probably just follow your gut. Just do, just do what you want to do. Um, yeah, I'd say follow your gut. Pretty good advice from uh, from Stevie Nicks. It's pretty it's pretty decent advice, yeah. Yeah, it, it got you here, so it's pretty, not not too bad. <clears throat> I, uh, I I put um, a tweet out asking uh, all your uh, hardcore fans, you know, about uh, what they mm-hmm. want to know from this interview, and a lot of people, a lot of fans, want to know about your your fashion inspiration and uh, and how that translates to on the stage and, and your music. Uh, can you talk about what goes <clears throat> into that, or if if anything, it's just just you. It comes natural. It's organic. Um, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's necessarily one person in particular. I think um, you know, music and fashion and they're just you're supposed to have fun with them and I think it's supposed to be fun and uh playful and I think it's people who I kinda of grew up listening to, like Elvis and David Bowie and uh Stones and people like that. It's like you know, it's part of the show because it's fun. And uh, I, I just like to have fun with it. And I think as I've 
I guess, become more comfortable with, uh, I guess, myself. It's nice to have fun with clothes and dressing up. Well, I was going to say that. I've never seen someone uh, at your age so comfortable with themselves. And as we look back at 2019, I feel like it's a, a year that, you know, we're trying to break down barriers and explore new grounds and, and thought processes. And I feel like that's mm-hmm. you as an artist. I feel like you never play it safe. You you explore new grounds. You are exciting as an artist and so comfortable in your own skin at such a young age. Is that a product of you, you know, uh, just being in the limelight mm-hmm. at an early age and having to, you know, just grow up faster than everyone else? Like, uh, I don't know if it's that, because if I'm honest, I'd, I'd say... A lot of the time, that can have the opposite effect. Right. I'd say it's probably a product of, um, I'd say, the fans, like the love that I've kind of always had from them. Uh, and I guess my friends. I'd say between, between the two, I, I'm incredibly lucky to have, I guess, an environment where I feel comfortable being myself, I guess. Um, so, yeah, very grateful for that. And as we wrap up this year and we, uh, we we kick off 2020 in a little bit here, uh, I guess the, the the big tour is going to be what you're doing next year. <clears throat> that is what I will be doing next year, yeah. I'm and, very excited to get out on the road. Can't wait to see everyone. And uh, I think it's going to be a fun show. So I'm looking forward to it. Kicking it off uh, right here in Philadelphia, which is very exciting for us. We can't wait. Uh, in the new year, are there, yeah. any, are there any collaborations that uh, you can't wait to – is there like a BTS collaboration you want to do, Lizzo? Is there anyone that you want to work with? Uh, I'm just working on the tour at the moment, so I'll be kind of I'll be kind of snowed in doing that. Um, but uh, I love all of those people. <laughs> well, Harry, uh, thank you so much for uh, the time. We appreciate it. I mean, this is a big day for you. Uh, Adore you. We absolutely love. We're gonna play it here nonstop on 96.5. And uh, thank con- you. And congrats on the upcoming album, the tour. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks for playing the song, and I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks, Harry. Be good. All the best. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye. Happy holidays. Hey, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Do you want me to come play? All the hits. Today's hits. TDY. 96.5 TDY.